deadly weekend violence. Two of the victims shot and killed Sunday. Detectives back at the scene in Northeast Baltimore searching for more evidence and trying to find the people responsible for the triple shooting at Frankfurt Avenue and Sinclair Lane. A witness we are not identifying describes what happened. I made a purchase and gunshots were being fired out front and I ran for cover by the ATM machine. She says the victims moved towards the hub sports bar and grill. And the guys ran in the store and the people followed. And that's when everything happened. I had to step over dead bodies. Officers located the body of one of the victims inside the bar. The other male died at a hospital. A 28 year old woman survived. Police also say officers were on patrol nearby and reported the shots. There were multiple shooters who um, who were shooting both inside and outside of the convenience store. A very brazen attack with officers, I would say about 150 feet away. Investigators found multiple shell casings in the street and on the parking lot. They also had a Honda Accord towed away from the scene as part of the investigation. Police tell us so far this year, 176 homicides have occurred in Baltimore as compared to 162 the same time last year and 350 non-fatal shootings as compared to 334 in 2021. Mayor Brandon Scott again voicing concern over the prevalence of illegal guns, consequences for using them, and some of the motives behind the violence. When you see people now dying over Instagram beefs, dying over things because their girlfriend left them or their boyfriend left them, dying over some small, small minor dispute, that is something significantly different than we saw in the 90s and the 2000s where so much of it was connected to what we would call gangs and drugs. Police also tell us they are investigating 24 robberies and over the weekend they made arrests in a murder, two attempted murders and a carjacking. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.